Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Um, conservatives are always talking about judicial activism and about the original intent of the founders of this country. And the cases that they are most upset about seem to be those cases involving civil rights and women's rights. When the Supreme Court was hearing those cases, they came to the conclusion that women and minorities were not receiving equal protection under the Constitution and that steps needed to be taken to change that and to correct it. So in a sense, conservatives are right. Because when this country was founded, black people and women were both considered to be property. But it's been a long time since those views have held. And the idea that all people should be treated equally under the Constitution certainly is not judicial activism. It is simply justice. So why are conservatives so against this? Well, maybe because if you scratch a conservative, you're usually going to find a racist, sexist, homophobe. Now, there are exceptions to this, but even with those conservatives who don't have any racial animosity, they usually have to kowtow to the races that are part of their base, so you're certainly not going to hear them take a stand for civil rights. Now let's take a look at a real example of judicial activism, the Citizens United case. It's not like the Supreme Court was coming to the aid of an oppressed minority, they were siding with billion dollar corporations. The decision, simply put, says that corporations are not only people, but they're citizens, and that they're entitled to all the rights that citizens have. Now there's nothing in the Constitution or in our history books that gives any hint that that was part of the, our founders' original intent. Matter of fact, the Citizens United case overturned thousands of pages of settled law and hundreds of precedents. And there is no basis for this decision in law are in fact. Most of the corporations who funneled so much money into the last election and are preparing to do the same in 2012 have offices in many other countries. So foreign money helped decide the last election and will be used to influence 2012. What you have to ask yourself is why so many foreigners want Republicans to run the United States? And we also know that two judges deciding this case had direct conflicts of interest. Both Clarence Thomas and Antonin Scalia had received money from the Koch brothers prior to hearing this case. In addition, Clarence Thomas, for years, committed perjury in his financial statements. The Supreme Court financial statements are submitted under penalty of perjury and he lied every year saying that his wife had no income when the truth was that she was making hundreds of thousands of dollars from foundations that were funded by the same corporations that Clarence Thomas ruled in favor of. We also know that every Supreme Court justice in their confirmation hearings testified about the importance of respecting precedents. So in addition to Thomas and Scalia, Roberts, Alito, and Kennedy all committed perjury in their confirmation hearings. So now let's take a quick look at what the Citizens United decision is. First it says that money 
and speech are the same thing. Now, any sixth grader knows they're not. It says that limiting the amount of money corporations can spend on elections is denying their First Amendment rights, even though corporations are not really entitled to First Amendment rights. Think about it. If a corporation is entitled to First Amendment rights, aren't they also entitled to Second Amendment rights? Are any of you really comfortable with the idea that Coke Industries has the right to bear arms? And by giving corporations First Amendment rights, the Supreme Court has denied you your First Amendment rights. Even though they did not explicitly say it, these corporations now have so much money that they can drown you out. And the Supreme Court has said that they have the right to do that. What's the point of having the right to speak if you don't have the right to be heard? In summary, the Citizens United decision is an attempt to end democracy in the United States and to turn it into an oligarchy. To give control of the United States to the corporations. It is an act of treason. The five justices who voted for it, Roberts, Kennedy, Scalia, Thomas, and Alito are traitors. They not only should not be on the Supreme Court, they should be in prison. They should be given a fair hearing followed by a proper hanging. Thank you for listening.